everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit the like button too. Give us a big thumbs up, and I'm going to thank you all in advance. But on this episode, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a beer from Wiley Roots Brewing, and they are located in Greeley, Colorado. Wiley Roots, baby. So the beer we're tasting, well, this is their... Breakfast at Wiley's, their coffee and cinnamon rolls. Hmm? Interesting, interesting. Uh, but this beer, this is an oatmeal milk stout with added cinnamon and vanilla. So yeah, we're getting uh, the cinnamon roll aspect going on. I feel it. Um, but this beer clocks in at 7.5% ABV. So without further ado, let's crack open uh, the Breakfast at Wiley's. Here we go. Boom, boom. One, two. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, no, no smoke, but we're getting a little foam. Foam's flinging all over the place here. A lot of foam, a lot of foam. That should do it. Nice little pour. Nice little pour. Let me get there. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Breakfast at Wiley's, baby. Um, yeah, that's a dark one. That is dark, dark, dark. And we have two and a half finger veil of a cocoa khaki colored carbonation going on but uh and it's dissipating the foam is dissipating really really quickly on this one but uh let's give this a swirl i'll try not to spill it and uh let's give it a nose here we go here we go here we go uh -huh. well what are we getting here what are we getting well we are getting a slight bit of cinnamon, slight vanilla, but on the forefront we are getting, we're getting coffee. There is a, there is an aroma of coffee, but it's more like a stale coffee. Yeah, and it's rounded out by a little hint of a caramel sweetness. But let me swirl this, open this up a little bit more, and uh, we're going to take a sippity sip. Here we go. Prost, prost, prost. Breakfast time, baby. Breakfast of champions right here. Hmm, we're going to find out. Prost. That is really, really, really light body. I was expecting this to be a little bit, uh, at least a medium body. No, this is a very light body beer. Mm-hmm. It is. Very light-bodied. But uh, flavor-wise, what are we getting here? Well, I'm going to take one more quick sip, and then I'm going to tell you. Keep me in suspense. But uh, flavor-wise, 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 what do we got? Well, first and foremost, we have the coffee. And once again, it's not necessarily a bitter coffee. It's more of a stale coffee coming through. Um, I don't know if that's intentional, but it's definitely like a stale coffee. Uh, we're also getting a little bit of cinnamon. I mean, slight, 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 and I mean very slight vanilla. I mean, it's almost non-existent. Uh, but there's also... There is a woodiness that is coming through. And once again, a very, very slight hint of a caramel sweetness uh, rounding it out. Um, I'm going to take one more quick sip, though. Now, what would I, what would I give this on the pint meter I mean... I think on the nose, the aromas were coming off a little thin. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for more of that vanilla, maybe more of that cinnamon. Um, and on the palate even, the, the flavors are really, really thin. Uh, once again, I was hoping for a little bit more of that cinnamon, a little more of that vanilla. Uh, and then the coffee is, like I said, it's an odd one because it's not a bitter coffee. And like I said, I don't know if this is intentional, but it does taste like, and it does, the aroma of a stale coffee, almost like coffee that's just been sitting in the pot for a couple days. And I'm not saying that to be negative. It's just, it's a stale coffee aroma and flavor. Um, I'm going to give this one on the pint meter. I'm going to give this one like a straight, I'm going to give this a five. Um, I think it's, it's got a good direction. It's, I, I think it's, it's got, it's headed in the right direction. It's got some good ideas behind it, but I think the execution is, is slightly lacking. I want the flavors bumped up. I want the aromas bumped up. 
uh, yeah, that's it. That, that, those are my uh, big complaints. Um, and, you know, I'm going to amend that, too. I wish, I think it should be a fuller-bodied beer, too. I think it's just a little bit too thin. I wish, I wish it was just a, a, a fuller mouthfeel. It doesn't have to be full-bodied beer, but at least a medium-bodied beer. Kind of give, just give the, give the beverage a little bit of weight there. But on that note, I'm going to stick with my rating. I'm going to give this one more sip. And I'm going to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, which are www.pubsyavapintin.com or the blog, which is www.pubsyavapintin.blogspot.com. And with that, we will see you all in the next episode. So raise that pint. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy.